I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will take a few examples and understand domain of composition of functions. So to begin with let us take example of function f of x equals to let's take a rational functions since there are a lot of restrictions in rational functions. A simple rational function like f of x equals to 1 over x plus 1 and now let me take a linear function let us say g of x is equals to x minus 2. So we'll work with combination of these two functions and then try to figure out what is the domain of composition of functions which can be formed with these two functions, right? So let me consider an example where we can say what is f of, let us say, g of x, right? So let's consider this function. Now in this particular function, what do you expect is the domain of that function? As we know, for f of x equals to 1 over x plus 1, x is not equals to minus 1, x can be all of the real numbers. For g of x equals to x minus 2, there is no restriction, x is all real numbers, right? So I will not write x is all real numbers, but we will only write restrictions in this particular video. Okay, now can you tell me what is the domain of composition of the function, that is f of g of x? Okay, some of you might say that minus 1 should be a part of the domain, right? Now, you'll be surprised to see that in the final answer, we may not get that. Now, actually speaking, domain of this function is basically range of g of x and rather domain of f g of x itself. So, the restriction comes from the domain of g of x and then the range of g of x becomes the domain of f of x and that could lead to further restrictions and therefore you will observe then in that in most of the composite functions the domain is not always uh, restricted with the function itself so that is one thing which I want to highlight let us see how so we are saying f of and within brackets let me write g of x and g of x for us is x minus 2 x minus 2 correct now if I substitute x minus 2 here that is what composition of function is you are substituting one function into another what you get instead of x I'll write x minus 2 so we get x minus 2 plus 1 and that will be solved as 1 over x minus 1 so so the function f of g of x is actually 1 over x minus 1 and in this case what domain do we have here the restriction is that x is not equal to plus 1 do you get the idea so domain of this function f of g of x is actually x not equal to 1 and it is not x not equal to minus 1 right so that is the domain of g of x so we can write domain for this function is that x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to 1. Now this is a very difficult point of view to understand. So, so what I will do here is instead of taking more examples which I can do in part 2, I will elaborate on this particular concept. Why is it so? Let's try to answer why is it so, right? So what we will do now here is that we will see the composition of function in in a different way uh, which is the basic definition I should say right so what we have here is we have two functions involved <coughs> what we are saying here is that f of g of x so we have to always start from inside function so we start from inside function so first we do the operation for g function right now the operation here is we know g of x is equals to x minus 2 right so that is what g of x is so what we can do is we can take some values and then find what are their corresponding values so so i'll not take one but i'll take other values right just just uh, because we know that is our restriction at the end we'll take one and see what happens okay so let's take minus 1 0 I'm avoiding 1 for the time leaving a 
blank here and then let's say one and two let's work with four values okay so if I perform this operation which is the inside operation to be performed first g of x is x minus 2 so the value which corresponds to minus 1 after application of this function will be minus 1 minus 2 so that will be minus 3 0 minus 2 is I mean you you get minus 2 right okay this we are not doing we are just leaving it blank and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 2 minus 2 is 0 okay so that is the link which we have got so we have these values it is important to draw arrows okay so that is the relation so in the first operation what we did is we performed inside function and now it is time to do the outside function where the range of inside function becomes the domain for f so now when we do from go to here to here is the operation f the outer operation now the function here is f of x equals to 1 over x plus 1 right I like you to observe how we are getting all these values okay now if I substitute uh, minus 1 minus 3 here then what do I get so 1 over minus 3 plus 1 gives me minus half right so that is the value I get if I substitute minus 2 here minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so I get minus 1 okay we leave this minus 1 if I substitute then what do I get minus 1 mm -hmm. yeah okay uh, actually we took one oh that's a problem so we took one anyway so if I substitute minus one so if I substitute minus one we get undefined so we get does not exist so okay let me highlight this I wanted to avoid this but I took it okay that's okay anyway it helps to I don't have to go back to it we'll continue with the same so when I take one which was the restriction I should not have taken but I took it okay then we land it to does not exist minus 1 plus 1 is 1 over 0 that does not exist so from here we can clearly say that this is this does not work right so this value does not work do you see that so this value does not work so I should not have taken one it does not work and that is correctly the restriction okay let's take the other values if I take 0 here then 1 over 1 we get 1 here so we do have a relation with all other values but with minus 1 you you get the point right so so that is how it is so you can see very clearly that minus 1 is not a restriction on the function right minus 1 can give f of x as undefined value but since we are working on f of g of x minus 1 is not a restriction the only restriction is that x cannot be equal to 1 as you can see right so so that is the restriction for us so we can say that this is indeed a value which we cannot consider so that doesn't get completed but you could take any other value and you will get the result now we can actually also get the same result by substituting the values in the expression we have what do we have we have f of g of x as equal to 1 over x minus 1 now if I substitute in this minus 1 here then I get minus half right so you can evaluate if I substitute 0 here I get minus 1 if I substitute 1 I get does not exist if I substitute 2 then I get 1 over 1 which is 1 correct so so this formula which we have derived for function of function works for all the values but does not work for x equals to 1 so that is the only restriction which we have on this function we have seen very clearly that it works for minus 1 
correct therefore it is kind of important for us to understand that whenever we are talking about the domain of composite functions then we are looking into restrictions which are which could be at this stage so which 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 are restrictions of the inside functions so inside function and on combined function or composite function right or combined function since the range of inside function becomes the domain you understand and wherever that range is a part of domain only then you can get the composite function otherwise you cannot right in this particular case the range minus 1 comes as a range of g of x but it is not in the domain of f of x therefore the input so this was the input for us right x equals to 1 is not admissible so that is a restriction so I hope with this one concept is absolutely clear that is the restrictions on the composite function are not because of both the functions are mainly because of inside function and their composition that is what it is right so I hope that helps you we have a multiple choice question based on this try to do that example and then move forward thank you and all the best